The game between Anish Giri and uh, Paco Vallejo finished in a draw. Uh, let me ask you from the end, let's say, the final position. What do you think? Who is better, who is worse and uh, what's going on? Well, he offered me a draw a couple of months ago and I had a feeling like I was already uh, on top a little bit and uh, I rejected the draw. But then, you know, when you have one minute, you see lots of ghosts. And then I got a little bit scared and I thought, okay, let's... Because, I, okay, two moves is not a lot, but uh, I didn't know which decision to make at some point. So I decided to offer a drawback. I thought he, he'll accept because he's definitely not better anymore. But on the other hand, yeah, I had a feeling like I might be slightly better at least or something. But, but my, I don't know. I mean, uh, For example, instead of knight c7, did you consider d4? Mm, well, I considered, but uh, I rejected it fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anish, what was your feeling? What happened in this game? Uh, well, like, at some point I got a slight advantage, I think, in the end game. But then I started playing uh, quickly and badly, and Paco started playing uh, slowly and... <laughs> and <better. laughs> reasonable. Uh, maybe, maybe reasonable, maybe reasonable. Though, I mean, I, I think the key in the position was that his knight on f6 was misplaced, where he put it at the beginning. And um, that sort of made me relax a little bit and I started making pointless moves. Um, but at some point he realized the knight has to regroup, of course. And then when knight is coming back to c7 and c6, then I realized, okay, I, uh, I'm losing my advantage. And, uh, but do you think uh, I could go somewhere else with the knight immediately? Because, I mean, I knew my knight is not the best place, but yeah, on the I other hand, actually c7 is one of the best squares on the board because I protect d5, I, I can get knight e6, knight b5. Yeah, so well, I, I, I think that somehow it felt that uh, when I played knight to f3, the beginning of the end game, it's not so much. I even considered black playing something like knight c6, you know, just not even trading on f3. Um, but um, then after trading, I, would, I, do, I mean, it's more natural definitely to put like knight uh, g5, e6, or uh, it's, it's more knight natural. G, but then g5, you play something like rook, rook d2 and double rooks. Well, I mean, um, I thought yeah. it should be drawish, of course, anyway. Yeah, but the knight but, is... Um, um, yeah, okay, and I understand you want to protect the pawn, of course, so... Um, that's yeah, what I, I didn't have so much risk sense. to go knight f6, and yeah. then when the time comes, I'll regroup. But I think maybe instead of pushing b4 so fast, I could start with a4, let's say. And then I'm already maybe... I want to maybe play a5, and then before b5. Yeah, but it's very hard to do much without this file. I mean, when I get the c file... I mean, I'll play something like rook c5 or, well, and then b6 or something, then I'll not open files. Well, and I think it should be enough to... For sure, for not sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. But uh, but at some point, nonetheless, uh, I thought black misplayed it, you know? And uh, I was planning to, uh, to take on c4 at some point instead of uh, rook c1 and then dc rook c1. Uh, and uh, I thought I'm already much better, but I missed it. Here goes rook d5, sacrifice pawn on c4, and comes with knight d6 and makes, uh, makes a draw. So after I missed that, uh, I sort of, uh, my mood got, was a bit spoiled and uh, then I think at the end I had to make a draw after knight a3, I, I mean, probably I have to just go back, but also he does not really um, threaten much, I think, he doesn't have a threat, I think, at this point, other than rook c7, so um, I sort of over relaxed in the sense that I thought I have no risk anyway, and then I suddenly saw knight e5 and I saw some kind of ghost that it's great, um, and then I played and then I immediately realized I missed rook b7 and then um, yeah, I think I'm um, already fighting for um, for equality there. Probably it's still equal, but uh, I'm already the one playing for a draw. And I think at the end I should be fine. But uh, uh, I think for now maybe it's double-edged. But the moment he gets an extra hour on the clock, it's no longer double-edged. <laughs> so I decided to take a draw before he gets ta an hour on the clock. Actually, it seems to me that this was a game of ghosts. I mean, they were all, all around the board today. No. <laughs> I mean, as I said before, especially when you're down to a couple of minutes or one minute, yeah, you're a little bit afraid of spoiling all the work. I mean, you're well, fighting you know, for, uh, Compared for to many other games, at least it was a game, and that's already something, I oh, think. Yes, that's for sure. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you.